All right, here we go with our coils. So even though this is a two, four time signature, I'm gonna count off four, so this way it's not too quick of a count. 60. One, two, three, four. following along here hopefully the whole thing sh well let's see let me scroll down all right it reaches the bottom all right i'm gonna mute the midi i have our count in get a volume check okay. so yep just using those chord shapes to make the riffs but we're not going to hold down any chords here we're just using the shapes to visualize the notes that are happening <laughs> and so on so let's see how this goes so I can practice it a bit more. I would learn one piece at a time. Do like a line at a time. I think that would be a very good idea. Let me see. I goofed before. before. No, that was the right note. Look at this, you get to watch me learn my own thing I gave to you on the spot. Before.
that kind of middle-ish part is going to be what trips me up. Let's take it from the top, see if I can pull it off here. I better give it to you. I better be able to play this thing, right? Right? Right. Two, three, four. <laughs> Wrong string. Two, three, four. <laughs> was not easy <laughs> um, so yeah <clears throat> take it a line at a time add a, add a little bit as you get more comfortable and just like I did when you get to a place that is challenging and a message you up stay there stay at that point get comfortable with it uh, if you can memorize stuff, great. It is a lot to memorize, so following the guitar profile would be a very good idea. Um, even like, um, maybe using the MIDI guitar to help you out in the beginning would be okay. This way, you know, you just to make sure you're, you're definitely playing it right, because we want to make sure you're playing it right. And then eventually, you know, like the, the the test will be playing the whole thing without the the MIDI guitar. You certainly follow the guitar profile uh, when you make your your video for next week. Um, what else was I gonna say? I had something else that could help. Oh yes. So yeah, the goal is to play the whole thing at 120. There's nothing wrong with playing it slower. So if there are any portions that, again, are really tricky, if like playing it at 120 is just, you just mistake after mistake after mistake, metronome that part up. So for example, like I kept goofing up like this area here. So if, you, you, uh, if it happens to you as well, Instead of just trying it at 120 over and over again, it's like after a few times, it's like the same kind of mistakes and it's really, really difficult and it's like taking a lot of effort to get. Just mention on that thing up. Do the whole 60 to 65, 70, 75, etc. And go past 120. Go past it. Go up to like 130 or 140 with it. Because if you're playing it faster than required, should make it easier when you put the whole thing back in. So, just some ideas on helping to get the whole thing down. And uh, one last thing, uh, we want to correct our, D, I believe it was the descending single note stuff for the key of G, because you wrote it in the key of C. So we want to get that fixed. Um, I think that was everything for the chords had you and one or other person doing a chord thing yesterday and I want to say we finished it I was like right at the end we did there may have been one other chord to change but I think that was it uh, so yeah just each line just get it correct once 
and you're good and you're good you can play along with guitar pro just to make sure you're hitting everything correct that's fine but just one and done so yeah just focus on that first line and so that's correct and then i think you already did those two like the first two because we those were already done but like for all the new stuff um just get it done once and that's fine because it's a lot to go through so you don't need to go through it over and over and over again one and done and you're good all right any questions let me know i'll see you next week